Hey everybody, I'm Nigger from here, and welcome back. I was actually going to stop playing Receiver 2 for the night, but it told me that if I left, uh, bad things would happen to me. Like, I would lose my rank. So, uh, I need to figure out how to safely exit. See, watch, if I hit quit, it says, hey, you'll restart your progress to the previous rank, which I would preferably not. I'd like to not do that. So, yeah. Uh, so... Incorrect. Okay, I need I need a refresher real fast. Alright, uh Oh, there is no Oh, this is full. Hello. Okay, that's what I thought. Just wanted to be sure. Okay, so if bad tape comes on, it goes E to R. I didn't hold. I didn't hold. That was the problem. Shot myself in the leg. Secrets. I found a note today, and unlike the other notes from fellow receivers, this one talks about encrypted messages. This has upset me a lot. Why are receivers keeping secrets from each other? What is that that some of us aren't allowed to know? This has never come up in training. Why would we need to write coded messages unless something we are doing is dishonest or wrong? Are we receivers? Are receivers deceivers? Okay, yeah, this is only a seven bullet clip. Okay, there is one up there, and there's one down there. Hear the whirring. Who? Oh. oh, you can interact with those. Okay, so we've got a Beyblade. Okay, we've got multiple Beyblades.
don't I'd call that pretty successful. Hacker life forever. Been finding these weird encrypted messages. Maybe they're clues from some of the peeps that send us bullets and guns. Hack the planet, baby. Seriously, what is this stuff? I wonder if this is a really simple cipher. And if I should try. Because um, I could. I could totally try and, uh, and get that solved. Um, all I have to do is... I'm in the shift tab menu. Uh, I might have to do like uh, uh I wonder if I can find one that'll do a shift cipher. Okay. So we're gonna have to type this, which is gonna be annoying. B L Q S B O L V L D T G L Oh God um, L D T G W. This is when my inability to type hurts. B S I P S W E M X Y W B E T I L Z G V A Y I T W G J Y I D L G D L J B D L J G Good Lord, I can't read Ma V. E Z W B S W V M I D Q L W P S B T S L J H R G Q G R I R J H X J I M I I Q. Uh, oh gosh. Um, I'm just looking through all the possible Caesar ciphers, and none of them appear to be correct. Uh, Caesar cipher is just a shift uh, where like a is um, like a, a, basically every letter is three further like so a b c d so all a's are now d's and b's are now e's c's are now f's that sort of thing none of these appear to be accurate um, that said we do have a single v as a letter so um, how about decrypt replacement cipher language english break the cipher I click break cipher and it's not doing anything. So I'm guessing that uh, it's having a hard time. Um, here, I'm not going to put too much effort into this uh, for a couple reasons. One, I think that it's a bad idea to just try and solve it right now when... Uh, I think that there's going to be hints further on. How do I remove?
Is there... Okay, there's no safety on this gun. It would definitely be nice to have a gun with a safety. Because then you could just turn the safety on. And that would presumably solve your danger. Is this another Beyblade? Yes, it's another Beyblade. Okay, this actually worked. God damn it. I don't like that there's a bay billiard up there that I cannot control. Oof. The real question is where is it? Ow. Did I just shoot myself? I'm a little mad. I'm a little mad because I think I shot myself. I was I held tab, I swear. Okay. Um I don't Why do I have a flashlight? I don't want a flashlight. Okay, so that's a fully loaded. A 
Commit a deranked. Positive side being I can be a little bit reckless here because I am rank one now, assuming that you can derank or you cannot derank to zero. Which I don't know yet. But yes, I am a little mad. Ow. All right, looks like we got a Beyblade. Yes, we do. So then we can, yep, see, I did it in the wrong order. It's still loaded. This game is so very satisfying when you do things correctly. Ow. I'm not pleased. Actually, I should look at the uh, notes about drones. Oh, I don't. I will. Mm, mm. mm. <laughs> oh, boy. Why does it say I've played 19 hours? Past. I haven't owned the game for that long. Oh, that has to be the current session. They, are those swapped? An hour and 51 minutes makes sense, but not... Yeah, this session's been 19 minutes.
Yeah, I'm not sure why. Wait, did I already run and jump? No. Always been such a disappointment. Ah. I would have just kept getting more pathetic. I can't stand to be uh, a burden on you any longer. I have unloaded the weapon. You can forgive me. I love you. I'm sorry. There are no bullets in this gun. I hate this so much, though. Now you can even see down the barrel that it's empty. Can I talk about how there's a tape over there and I'm going to die if I get it? Rich was starting to think about death a lot after the sudden death of his sister. He loaned his sidearm to a friend because he was worried that he would be possessed by the threat. He was right to be worried. The threat took control of his body and drove him to the Golden Gate Bridge. He was breathing in the foggy air about to let go when two officers grabbed him. Later, when he progressed further in his receiver training, Rich started to see that he had never been a burden on anyone. Humans have a fundamental need to help one another, and by gracefully accepting the help that the help that he needed, he allowed his friends and family to fulfill their own needs to feel useful and appreciated. It took him years of slow improvement and cultivating healthy habits, but he eventually found that he had repaid all of the kindness and support that he had ever received, and then some. Right, this one we've heard. Okay, so. I pulled out my gun very quickly, which is why I got fucking shot. I want to get that floppy disk, but... Is it worth it? Probably not, but I did it. Ooh, contact. I am pleased to tell you that yes, somebody reads your missives. Oh, dear Maggie Mongoose. Gratefully, I can assure you. You see, I suffer from the opposite problem of what you described in your first message, the mongoose strikes. That is to say, I am rather adept at taking on the more metaphysical and esoterical elements of receiver lore, but have always struggled with the physical side of our training. So it is quite a relief to find that there's help out there for someone with a penchant for daring action and feats of valor. I tried your crazy drop method and you were right. It worked. My ankles did indeed decline to thank me. It earned me another tape, though. Perhaps I should repay your favor and share some of your insights I have gained, especially in those areas you seem to suffer. With kind regards, Mitch. Okay, we made it. Is that gun not fully rotating? It is not. Cool. We can just hack it then. If I can get there.
Five minutes after I started, I finally heard the tone. I was holding a plank, looking straight down at the grass, sweat dripping from my nose when I heard it. It sounded so weird, I looked up and there was Amy, looking right at me from the other side of the circle, smiling. One of the instructions Lawrence came up after class, he told me that he thought I would benefit from practicing at home. He gave me a cassette tape. I had no idea that I was what I was getting into, but I knew that this was exactly what I had been waiting for. That's what I th oh. That was fucking close. Don't know why I do that. Yeah, I put myself in a worse position now. Still got it though. I would like to find a tape, please. It's a Beyblade. Now that could have been really bad. 
but there was no ladder to get up. Technically, you can leave the bullet in there and load and unload the clip, but it feels like a bad idea. More likely to have an accident that way when I'm pulling it out. That scared me a little bit. Still have found no tapes. There's something over there. Okay, good to know. I missed. Did not miss. physical training is less important than mental conditioning. Receivers know that the two are linked. To move the body requires thought and focus. And similarly, certain actions and physical situations induce specific states of mind. By training one, you train the other. I will never be good enough to do clips. A deeper level. First tape explained that the tone meant I had tapped into a deeper level of concentration and was the natural result of some aut autonomic response. <laughs> Struggle on that word a little bit. The recording said not to mention the sound to anybody because they didn't want to make them feel left out. I didn't believe a word of it. The tape also introduced some new ideas about how the media was making people sick. I was skeptical, of course, but I also had to admit that going to the class, cutting down TV and internet time, had made me feel better than I had in years. Oh, shit.
beautiful. Phone vibrated at making sure it is nothing important. That is a good find. Receivers. Every few weeks I would get a new tape. My collection started to grow. I would listen to them on the bus. The tapes are pretty short, so swapping them out became a ritual. I, it made me wish I still wore a chest rig, but I made do with my backpack. At work, the guys would give me a hard time about it. They would say, did you see the news? Magnetic tapes cause cancer. They are going to ban them. I'd learned from the new tapes that people like us were called receivers. Amy and I had started spending more time together again. She had her own tape deck and tapes, and was way further along than I was. She had been spending time at a place the group called the Rec Center. Something about her had changed. She was holding something back, and I knew the answer was on her tapes. I definitely appreciate that we're going further into lore, because the lore in the first one... I mean, I don't want to make it sound like I'm being too critical here, but the lore was a bit weak. It was interesting. Uh, I guess, how do I phrase this? Or say it accurately. Uh, the game was solid. It had a good concept. It just didn't have a lot of lore built behind it. But the opportunity for it to be there was real. That's annoying. We reached the edge of the map. Well, quite literally. Well, I guess we just go down. Or up, actually. I'm going to go down. Right, that's where we were. The body and mind are linked. Physical actions okay, are a okay. manifestation of mental actions. Thus, training to protect the body also protects the mind. Controlling your environment controls your thoughts. You, your body, and your environment are part of a larger whole. Control your thoughts. Control your body. Control your environment and control your fate. For some reason, I just, I stopped trusting it right there for a little bit. Actually. Okay. I picked up a bullet. It's full panning. I do know there are other places you can shoot them.
I couldn't get to that safe spot and hack it without getting shot by the other one. I'm lucky that didn't go more poorly than it did. Nice. To shoot you in the back. Okay, this one's a Beyblade. Oh, I have, th oh, I have too many bullets, guys. I have too many bullets. Shit. I'm confused by why that is there, but okay. There's a bullet following me around. We heard three out of five tapes. God, if the elevators were to open and have a turd in them, I would shit myself. Thought I heard whirring. See, this would be a room that would have drones in it. Dang. No luck. Door is open. So it may have been unwise to throw away those clips that I had, but they were like five bullet clips. Which in my opinion are not particularly useful. Second flashlight? Oh no, that's another clip. Another like four bullet clip. Fine, I'll keep this one. Don't make me pretend that I like it. But I think it's smart that there's a limit. Well, there's a limit to how many uh, bullets you can have. Because clearly I'm very good at being bullet efficient. I've played this game enough.
This is what I like to see. I didn't uncock it so it's still chambered. Okay, there's still there's no longer a bullet following me around. Still no more tapes though. I'm expecting the next tape to be a bad tape. Honestly. I'm not doubling back, am I? I haven't found any other dead turrets, so. Boombox. One night Amy and I were watching an old black and white movie at her place. We never watched or read anything from the last 50 years. About halfway in, she dozed off. I pretended to use the restroom, snuck into the hall, and carefully lifted one of the advanced tapes from her purse. I grabbed my pack and ducked into the bathroom. Inside my pack, I had brought a double, deck, a double cassette boombox with high-speed dubbing. The tapes are usually pretty short, so I took a few minutes to dub the first side of Part A to a blank tape. I finished rewinding her tape and put my gear back in my pack. I slowly opened it to find Amy standing there in the gap, rolling her eyes. I'm I'm pretty invested in what's going on here with the uh, unnamed soldier and Amy. A tape. While I know this isn't the same room as before, it still feels familiar. It's more like a, a fictional place than the real world. It's, uh, it's like someone made copies of, of copies and, and lost the original intent of all the objects uh, long ago. I didn't trust that tape. It sounded weird. It sounded doubtful. That was weird. Say your gun can jam in this game, so. of regret understand that there was no other way that events could have played out 
All you can do is learn from the experience and move on. Yeah. See, I don't want to click anywhere to continue. I want to leave so that I don't have to start another run. Uh, that didn't work. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to Alt F4 right there. Oh, you can turn off the threat echo tapes. Okay. Hmm. All right. So I'm gonna have to uh, gonna have to do another one, but. That's okay. Uh, it's kind of annoying, but I'll deal with it. It's not like I'm not enjoying the game or anything. It just means that I have to Alt F4 on that screen, which they need to figure out. Like, I, I should leave them some feedback on this uh, in the Steam thing before I go. Um, yes, I'm going to do that. But either way, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I'll see you next time, and until then, keep your gears turned.